So we're going to cover unit vectors. So unit vectors are a special type of vector. Um, they come in handy in many scenarios. But they're nothing more as a vector that has a magnitude of 1. So you can say vector length is 1. Just 1. Okay? That's all that they are. So a lot of times we'll have a scenario where you need to transform a vector into a unit vector. So how do you do that? Well, let's say you're given a vector that has its components AX, AY, and AZ. So these all are um, numbers, all right? Let's say, you know, five in the X direction, six in the Y direction, and seven in the Z direction. That's an example of a vector. All right, so, and we want to transform to this vector into a unit vector that points in the same direction as this vector, for example. So if this is our vector A, we want to transform this vector into a small unit vector that points in the same direction. So this would be the unit vector A, okay? And this is handy in many scenarios. So how do we do this? Okay, well, I think if we knew the total length of this vector A, we could divide it by its length, and that would make this length of this unit vector 1. All right, so if we knew the total length of A, divide it by that length, we could find this vector UA. All right, so what is the total length of this vector A? We have to use our formula for finding the magnitude, which represents the total length right, uh, which is AX squared plus AY squared plus AZ squared, and then we take the square root of that. So that is the magnitude, and that would be step one there. And then step two is we just take uh, each part of this vector, so if we have vector A, we take the AX component, and we divide it by the magnitude of A. So that's in the I direction. And then we would take the AY component and divide it by the magnitude. And that would be in the J direction. And then we'd have AZ, the same thing, divide it by the magnitude. And that would be in the K direction. Okay? So um, let's put some numbers in here so this, this makes sense. Okay. So... Um, all right, so let's, let's say we have a vector A that is 2i plus 4j plus 6k, all right? And we want to transform this vector into a unit vector that points in the same direction that the original A pointed in, okay? So we first need to find the magnitude. So to find the magnitude, we have, that would be 2 squared plus 4 squared plus 6 squared. All right, and take the square root of that. And I believe that's the square root of 56. I think that's right. Um, okay, and then our second step would be to transform this into a unit vector by taking each of these original components and dividing it by its magnitude. So we have two divided by the square root of 56, and that's in the I direction. And then we have four divided by the square root of 56, which is in the J direction. And then six divided by the square root of 56 in the K direction. So if you wanna write this differently, you could write it uh, without the i, j, k in there, if you want, 2 divided by square root of 56, 4 divided by square root of 56, and 6 divided by the square root of 56. And then that would be our unit vector A that has the, uh, a magnitude of 1 
and it's pointed in the same direction as our original vector. Now, if you want to check the magnitude of this, you can by taking the uh, sum of all the squares of these and then taking the square root, you'll find out that the unit vector has a magnitude of one. So that is how to calculate a unit vector in the same direction as uh, of a given vector.